spikes are gone. Nice job, Spence. Doesn't have to be too tight, it's back his bike. As long as it doesn't hit mine. Three in the back. Three up top. This is the second to last time we're gonna do this. The penultimate loading. Emily and I have been counting down the sleeps. Only four more sleeps until we see Shermie. It's four too many in my opinion. Dude, I let it warm up. Yeah. God, what do? Greg is gonna be so pissed. Down here in the middle. Where's the cowboy hat? Over there. It's a hella sweet kind of day. Yeah. Why didn't you? Ju you should just take the patch off and put it on your cowboy hat. Maybe try it later. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 20? 20. 20. I'm here! No one cares! I'm gonna check this out. Make sure the chain doesn't break on these How did he get you here? I uh, you know, I couldn't find the driver. <laughs> the Dutch guy couldn't handle Curtis anymore? <laughs> the mother's like 90... Third birthday, so... Sounds like a pretty good excuse. I heard you just got ditched by your Dutch driver. It was his grandmom's birthday. Well... Grandmom's cousin's sister's uncle's birthday. <laughs> Here's a pro tip. If it's your mother's 92nd birthday, go. We made it to middle curve. Hold on, this guy's about to ask me for a second. Photo cards courtesy of USA Cycling. You're yeah, yeah, thanks. So we made it to Middle Kirk, an hour west of Udenar, just up the coast. Uh, it's pretty windy here today, but it is nice. The sun is coming out. Oh, what is this? It's not supposed to be this windy. Let's make it official, right? Oh my god! <laughs> what the I've entered the ranks! I'm as important as Lauren Sweek and, and Toon. Why did those guys get their own fan club? Look at that! Now you made it. I made it! Okay, so here's the deal. Just got back from course pre-ride. It's sick. It's just like kick after like it's like Bredna, but even steeper. And the banks and technical features that we're going up and riding across are more numerous so it's pretty sweet it's also not as muddy as bridna so yeah a lot of it's rideable it's all pretty fun yeah off the off the start we hit a 90 degree left hander and go over a flyover and then a little kick after the flyover drop down a steep embankment and then it's a u-turn ride up another steep embankment and then you go to a run up I'm not sure if I got all that in order because there's a lot on this course. All I know is it seems like it's going to ball up pretty hard at the start and like some of those ride ups may not be rideable. But yeah, so and then after that run up, you get back on and ride down into a mud bog and then you cannot pedal out of it, at least not now while there's like footholds in it. So then you get off again. I think like maybe first lap we just run the whole thing. It's going to be chaotic. But then it kind of opens up a bit. You go out, hit this little sand pit, make a U-turn, um, and then come back through the other side of the sand pit, which has a lot more sand on it, and it's probably, I don't know, 30 meters long, gradually uphill, and like it's pretty deep, so like if you get off out of the rut, it's, it's tough. And then right after that is an immediate kick up, which is rideable if you play it right and hit the rut properly. Then there's a flyover with some stairs, pretty straightforward. Man, and then I'm blanking because there's so much going on. I think after that you do this off camber where there's this little line and a super and a deep rut to hold you in. Um, then you kind of get onto a straight area. You go, um, I think you go by pit one, and right by pit one there's like this double stair step 
embankment that is gonna be tough if you're on somebody's wheel. A lot of today is gonna be like anticipating the yo-yo and like trying to leave a little bit of a gap in front of you so that you can ride up into it. Then you make your way over to the barriers which are kind of sketchy. They're not super tall, but they are um, in a huge crosswind section. So, you know, if I had some Durace C60s, I might be running it just because if I hopped it and a wind gust came, I might be on my ass. And then after that, we've been riding this section after that, but I think maybe in the race we run it just because it would be more consistent. Out by pit two, um, this is where most of the riding is in the flat sections. There's more pedaling out by the finish, the back half of the course. Uh, and then you loop back towards the start and right before you get onto the start finish straight, there's a, there's a ditch, which I think is rideable, but I think maybe and just get off and run it. Yeah, so man, there's a lot going on. I definitely didn't get it all dialed in in two laps, but yeah, it should be fun to go out there and figure it out during race time. Spencer's washing bikes. I gotta repin my skin suit. And eat some peaches. These are my favorite Haribos. They're the softest. I think that's why they're my favorite. And over here, they're not made with high fructose corn syrup. So yeah, they're basically healthy. why you're talking to yourself for the last five minutes. I was looking out my window, I was like, what the hell? I'm talking to my adoring fans. Fans. Hey, I, let, I, I wouldn't say they adore you. Let me you know fans. when you get your your, uh, your face on a stick. I don't want my face on a stick. That's when we'll talk. Not your physical face, just like a picture of your face on a stick. Because if your physical face was on a stick, we probably couldn't have a conversation. I didn't hear a word he said, I'm, list I'm listening to music with my Jaybird Vistas. I gotta tell you this story. December 28th, Becca goes for a bike ride and for some reason she has trouble with uh, her earpiece staying in. I don't have any of these problems. Kerm doesn't, Spencer doesn't. Uh, she's riding down the Shelda and her earbud falls out. And she looks for it for a while, like a long time and she can't find it. So she just says, forget it. She's like pissed off about it. So she goes home and she doesn't really think about it and she complains about it falling out, of course. February 12th, which was three days ago, she goes for a bike ride. She's going down the Shelda and it's warm and sunny. And so she's like, you know what, forget this. I'm gonna find it. Cause she's riding by the same spot. So she turns on the app on the phone where it shows you the find my earbud feature. And it shows you where the last time you used the Jaybird was. So that if you lose an earbud, you'll know. It's kind of like the find my iPhone feature. And so she finds it, she's standing on the dot and she's looking around and she's looking down the bank that goes into the shell duck. She figures maybe they rolled down. And then all of a sudden she's about to give up and she looks to her right and there it is sitting on a tuft of grass. So mind you, this is December 28th to, the, to February 12th. Uh, it had rained significantly, frozen, thawed, and she picked it up and the earbud was still charged to 78%. Pretty freaking amazing. So she put it in and listened to her music for the rest of her ride. That's crazy. They are IPX7 waterproof, which is like the same thing that a GoPro and... <laughs> what a jerk. Lifeproof case and your Garmin's and most things for outdoor use in the elements. So, you should get yourself a pair. You should tell them I sent you. Gary, serious question. You got an extra pin? <laughs> here, I'll just take this one right here. <laughs> yeah, you don't need this one, right? Unbelievable. Do you need this pin? No, you can have it. Thanks, dog. I'll invoice you later. One penny. Yeah, anyway, tell them I sent you. They should pay me for this in more than just headphones. Yeah. What are these people doing? creeping hard on my bike. I would too, the thing's beautiful. It's got all the best parts. Shimano GRX, Shimano wheels. He's floored. See? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
this year. What, and what you look like you raised. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Carrie looks like you just came look out of a photo shoot. You're like, yeah. oh, look at me. I'm just here to look pretty. Yeah, pretty and Somebody's got to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Race you look oh my God, yeah. what, guys? I just had a successful bicycle event. Somebody. I didn't even get pulled. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to show them my blanket. What the is that? I'm sleeping with myself tonight. <laughs> so. How do you cheer with that out on course? It's a blanket. Somebody should put it on a stick yeah, for you. Like a big flagpole. But it'll get dirty. Spencer needs some new rags to clean chains and stuff. Don't clean chains with my face. Here. What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to get out of my car. <laughs> Second to last weekend. <laughs> Hutelingen. This, my friend, is a traditional Flemish style pancake type, waffle type treat. And Claude brought us a fat stack. Two fat stacks. They're called Hutelingen. Huteling? Not sure if I'm saying that right, but uh, it completes the trifecta of the waffles. You have the Liege waffle, which is a real doughy one with the pearl sugar, and then the Brussels waffle, which is just like what you make in a hotel with batter. And then you have this, the traditional Flemish style. Thanks, Claude. Winter storm, Dennis. It is windy. Should have like kind of a tailwind on the way there. Maybe it'll die down when we leave. The bikes on the roof are like sails. Hopefully it doesn't rip the rack off. Pulse has their ducks in a row. That was the first time I took one try. Wanna cut the bloopers or? <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday's course was fun, but this course is sick. The ups and downs are a bit larger, uh, a bit steeper. Freaking wind is howling right now. Okay, so all the start pretty straightforward. We hit a bunch of like U-turns and loop-de-loos, and then take a right-hand turn on this super narrow off-camber. There's one line. You do a drop, then you kind of punch up another off camber, drop down, and then zigzag our way up this other off camber, which is, it's really sweet. There's like one line through this whole course, which is gonna be interesting with all the people on the first lap. Then we go by pit one, we kind of drop down and go through this mud box. And we do this like really ragged off camber, climb up, hit cobble, or up a ramp that has carpet on it and then it comes straight up and then kicks even harder at the top. You come across the top, go under the windmill, then you drop straight down, bomber, descent, so great down. down. Then you ride around the edge of the lake, it's pretty slick and slippery down there, uh, and then do this massive freaking front up that basically like a ladder up against the house. Right across the top, hit another really steep off camera, Go by pit two, it hits the barrier, fly over. An off 
camber followed by one more steep punch um, and then you turn left onto the start straight man pretty fun pretty fun course huh did you see that tree that came down yeah a tree fell down that was that was nuts all right it was a big tree it was a huge tree i think it was a maple do they have maples here i don't know i feel like they'd be making maple syrup here if they had maples maybe not a maple maybe it was a oak i think it was a oak I don't know what kind of trees they have here. So the women are gonna start at two instead of 145 because the tree went directly across the course and there's like 20 firefighters with the, the chainsaws, chainsaw, like but yeah, 12 inch chainsaws. So it's gonna take a minute. They're probably electric too. Yeah. <laughs> you went down in. Ugh. I think Spencer's finally figured it out. He's a real Belgian now. Belgian. Yep. I've been chain smoking cigarettes all day. That's it. We're done. No more cross. So we have some gin and tonics while we pack bikes. And uh, yeah, we start the trip home tomorrow. Only three more sleeps until I see Shermie. Thanks for following along after Nationals and keeping in touch with the Euro CX campaign. I hope it brought you guys some cheer while you were in the in the basement on the trainer or, or whatever, pulled up because the weather was shit. Okay, see you guys on the other side of the pond. Well, what is this situation? Man, are you getting nostalgic? Last time wrapping up the pressure washer? Hell no. Alright guys, we made it. Grab a glass. Cheers! Everybody made eye contact? Now we got an egg bite. <laughs> but I think it's gonna go a little faster. Once we have a few of these.